Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. Happy January 2019, dear Capricorns. This reading for the month of January 2019 will be anyone who's got a Capricorn sun, moon, ascendant. Even if you're a north node in Capricorn, this might resonate for you. And if you have three or more personal planets in Capricorn, that's a stellium. Now, if this doesn't resonate with you, you might want to just check the other readings I have up for the other signs, if you know that's where um, the placements are for your ascendant or whatever. Okay, I do personal readings, and I'm happy to do that. I'm doing a dollar a minute till the end of January 2019 for all patrons, not just newcomers. And um, I could do a phone, Skype, or FaceTime if you'd like to. The information is in the menu below. And thanks again, everybody, who's been subscribing. So let's see what we have for these just jumping out January. So many of the cards have been coming up the same, but you know, when the planets are aligned where they're aligned, of course, they're going to come up in every sign, but in a different position. Here we go. Okay. Wow. Two of them that came up before and other readings and this as well. Let's see where we're sitting here situated. Got to remember to look in the camera. Alrighty. Okay, let's see what we have for Capricorn. Our hard-working, dedicated Capricorn. And you know the goat is your glyph, but it's actually like a sea goat. That's why you see like the head of a goat in some of the glyphs and the sea, uh, the tail looks like a fish tail or a mermaid tail. Okay, so well, let's look at what's been going on in the past three weeks to three months. You really took on a lot of burdens before the end of December. Um, and actually, probably by around your solar return, it may have started where you said, well, I can do this. You might have gotten overloaded, and not just with the holidays, because not everybody celebrates, you know, a holiday around December. But something was going on, maybe with work or social situations. Maybe you had a lot of people asking a lot of things of you. Work was getting a bit too stressful. Things were really piling up there for you. You know, and these are all the challenges, activations, confrontations, conflicts, jobs, responsibilities, things that you had to do and complete all coming up. Uh, this was a victory. You got through it. So it's in the past position and the ninth saying it's over. But going forward, probably it's not going to make sense for Capricorn to say, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm just catching myself as I'm saying it. But spirit is really asking you um, to be more gentle with yourself and not expect so much of yourself, dear Capricorn, is because you are very hardworking and dedicated and uh, responsible and reliable and people see that in you and they don't mean to sometimes sometimes they do ask too much of you knowing that you will just take it on please be more careful with yourself because the wands are your spirituality but they are your life force your energy and this really was a bit draining you see it's our soldier of fortune maybe it was a little weathered and beaten down from it okay so maybe we'll just look at this in a positive way of saying it was what it was i hope i learned a lesson from it and going forward i'm going to learn how to say no this year okay even in january let's start with that because look you're putting so much work look at this look at this you're putting so much work into everything your relationship with this person your partnership your business your family your friends your loved ones your health Whatever it is in your life, your home, you know, your pets, whatever is everybody that's pulling at you and everything that's pulling at you that's asking for your energy. Now you're saying, okay, I loved and nurtured and took care of all of this. And you're looking at the outcome. Were you expecting a more bountiful harvest? Were you expecting more of a return? The seven is saying you're making a stand for yourself here and you really stop and Again, just like in the last reading that I had done where they had these two cards, you know, he leans on his stave, his wand. This, even though it's a, a tool for the garden, it reminds me of that very much, you know, and you're leaning on this and saying, okay, put all this energy into this. There, it's in ground. You know, I've got something here for my work and efforts, a little coin, but look at all the coin I want. Now, this could be your health and wealth, luck, love. Um, vocation, trade, something you do with your hands that you create your income or your joy in, also grounded energy, the physical vessel too, the body. 
I have to tell you, dear Capricorn, you did a lot of work here and you probably are not receiving as much as you are deserving. And Capricorns, although they do work very hard, they like their um, praise and rewards and why not? It's 10th house, top of the chart. It's your strength in the outer world, your career, the way people look at you, see you, respect you, your reputation. And you always do things right to be responsible. So I have to tell you, right now in January, you're going to be reevaluating things. You might even be looking at your finances. Maybe you did some overspending in 2018, or you had some expenses that weren't expected of you that knocked you for a loop. Um, or even in this love relationship, it may have drained the heck out of you. And now you're trying to recuperate from it. So reevaluate things and see the effort you're putting into these things. Are you learning? See the blue tights? Are you learning from these experiences? And this red is saying to ground yourself and you need to be grounded as an earth person. And you want things to flourish and grow in your life because you put all the hard work. You want those coins as whatever they mean for you in your life to be plentiful, to be abundant. And it feels like you're not getting what you feel you're worth or the results of the hard work for you to harvest. Okay, now with Capricorn too, we're going to have our new moon in Capricorn this month. So we know we want to plant new seeds, okay? This is your new moon. We want you to plant the seeds of something uh, flourishing and bountiful for you in your life. And maybe without you having to put that much effort into it. You know, here's a five, uncertainty, conflict, challenges, rising up. So this could be work or social situation where many people are coming together in a collaboration to make things better, to change whatever is going on here. It could even be like, see, you're on the outside here. You're throwing your hat into the ring. Maybe you're looking for a promotion or a raise. You're resigning your contract with work. Or maybe uh, if it's not about work or your friends, are you having some discord or throwing ideas together to start a new business or coming together with a group of like-minded people? And that you're putting all this energy, it's a very dynamic energy into this and making some much needed changes either in the workplace or in a social situation with your friends, your family, people you work with uh, as a, let's say, not just at the workplace, but as contemporaries. You know, you're saying, hey, this is what they can do. I want to do that. Or I'm better at that than they are. This is you're sizing yourself up. It's a friendly competition here. So for you so far, this is really about work or a social situation. And if it isn't resonating with you, you could look to the other readings. And if you're looking for something about love, it could be even competition for you. And is it worth you putting all this effort into it? And again, another five. So we have some uncertainties and a lot of energy being wasted here, dear Capricorn. This is your coin, your earth. You have to be very careful about how you're thinking and feeling. You're feeling a loss, a lack. We want to not dwell on that, though. Spirit is always here to guide you. Those coins are waiting to manifest. See? As above, so below. They're waiting to come to you. You need to get more empowerment there. Trust in yourself. Things are not cold, hard, and bitter unless you live in that mindset. You want to picture yourself in a sunny, happy place. If, if you do resonate with the cold and the ice and you like it better, great. But turn these lack into positive things. Be grateful for what you have. And when things don't go well for you, ask spirit, what good is coming out of this for me? You need to turn this energy around. Be very careful of how you're putting all this creative energy into what you're manifesting. Because if you're looking at loss of your home, I don't have enough money for my rent, my car payment, my insurance. Oh, this guy doesn't care about me. My son isn't going to get the help he needs. My daughter needs braces. See, this is, this is the stuff that nightmares are made of. We want you to say, okay, these are your worries. Okay, analyze them. Discern what is real and what is sensationalism. And then release it and put your focus on staying positive. And I know it isn't always easy, and that's why you could turn to spirit and ask spirit for some help or guidance with this. I'm going to ask for some clarity on this, you know, because everyone is different and these readings are general. I've been pulling a card for the foundation where this lays because maybe it'll give a little additional clarity in a more general sense because it doesn't resonate for everyone the exact same way. Boy, these cards really want to come out. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. This one just hit the ground running. All righty. Yeah, they're saying, yep. Yeah. Here's the star. 
One other reading got the star in this position. This is a time of healing for you, Capricorn. There's a lot of healing going on. This is having hope and wishing for what you want in your life, knowing it's coming to you. If not, it's not going to be this month, okay? For some of you, maybe the results will come this month, but I, I don't want to lie to you. Being realistic, things take time, and this card talks about taking the time it needs to take to come into form at the divine time for you. For some other Capricorn, it could be yesterday, someone else next week, someone at uh, the end of the year. It just doesn't uh, mean it's not coming, but it's saying have hope. If this is really what you want, keep wishing on your star. Because if you don't, then how much did you really want this? So let this replenish your soul. With the star, it talks about earth and matter. You're in this vessel, but you are part of spirit. Okay, you are a spiritual being experiencing a physical reality. So you want to stay connected to the ethereal world. In, in other cards, it shows that she's got one foot in the water and she's pulling one vessel of water and the other vessel she's pouring into the earth. So that represents spirit, the water. Okay, you as a spiritual being, the earth is the physical vessel you're in experiencing in matter. So as she drains the water from the pool, she pours it into the earth replenishing the earth so that it grows, loves, and nurtures everything living there in the physical world. But what happens, it decomposes and drains back into the water. It's the cycle of life. The ancient look of like Stonehenge here, wisdom from the past, solid foundations, even remnants of it hint to us of what once was, something great and wonderful. You can create something great and wonderful. It looks like spirit is offering a helping hand over here to you. You see this? They're asking you to ask them. You don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, Capricorn. It's not your job. Okay? You being the best you is a blessing enough to all of us. Spirit is here to help you. Remember that. And then here we have crowning the reading. This here is... Virgo in the Tarot. It is the hermit. And it represents very much your sister or brother sign because it's an earth sign. And Virgoans are analytical. They discern the truth like you do. They're hardworking and dedicated. They're service to others. They represent the sixth house. And that would be daily routines, mundane things, daily work, not about money or career, and your health. All right, so we're saying we want you to focus on these things with this major. Carrying on in January, we want you to start to become introspective. Go within. Feed that soul, okay? Your spirituality. Don't always worry about earthly matters. Feed your soul. Do some meditation. Take a salt bath. You know, go walk outside. Let the breeze go through your hair. Breathe in the clear, fresh air. Cleanse yourself. And again, see the stave here and here and here and here. I really feel like you need to replenish your energy in your physical body. Your vessel needs that energetic charge. And we have another nine here, like here. So we're ending a cycle of not going within. We want you to be a little bit reclusive and hermetic right now in January. Go within yourself. It doesn't mean lock yourself away in your house. I mean, if you want to, you can. Uh, to retreat, to regain to realign, refresh, and it's much needed. Ref See here, refreshment. See, he's looking like he's looking down at this reading here. You drained yourself. We want you to heal right now. It's above, so below. This is a healing energy. I'm sorry about Mickey. He's like gagging in the background. Um, but this is very much about you looking <clears throat> ahead in a, a way of analyzing what you're doing here that is not working for you. <clears throat> and making some changes <clears throat> in the next three weeks of this month too this person could be influencing the situation involved in the situation or if it's not who i describe it could be energy you need to take on now this king so we know it's the mental realm the kings are always about air the logic and he exudes the mental realm this is our gemini libra or aquarius if it's a human that you know in your life, it's a father or father figure. Could be ex-military, ex-police, judge, jury, someone in the legal field, justice system, even to me a CPA or EMS person, you know, because they have a lot of uh, responsibility where they have checks and balances that they have to follow a routine rigidly. 
Um, this person can be very good counsel. They might seem a little bit too rigid for you. Sharp words on the downside. They cut you like a knife with the words they have to say. But typically, they're very clear-headed, and they don't use their heart or emotion in things. You know, they do things logically. So this person could be influencing what's going on here in the outcome. If it's a love relationship, it could be male or female. It could be work relationship. This person is situated with this here. Or you're going to be the one with all these clear-headed ideas like Mr. Spock. Very logical and practical. No emotions involved. Listing everything like these are the facts, ma'am. You know, with everything, if this is a change you're looking to make in your workplace or in your life, this is the energy of someone who's very clear-headed and stable. They can be a little disconnected and aloof, though, so be careful of that. You do want to be able to still show some, uh, God bless you, support to these people around you. And if this is a legal situation, this is a victory for you uh, with somebody who's giving you clear guidance and counsel in the situation. Okay, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, Capricorn. This is the good tarot, and um, it's by Colette Baron reed It's a lot like the Rider Waite in the cards, but they offer the messages like I do. I want to bring everything positive. Even when things seem a little bleak, I offer positive affirmations. And I like the approach because they offer you a positive affirmation. So let's see for Capricorn. What else do we have for a Capricorn-centric people? For January 2019 spirit. Anything of a message or clarity you could give them or advice? Let's see, this one's popping up here. Oh, this came up before with someone else to the Ace of Earth. What a great card for you. New beginnings, financial security and stability for a time. Okay, some blessings of feeling enriched, maybe inheritance. People give you money. It could be the business is doing well. You know, the mortgage is reduced. Um, you're able to make your payments and live comfortably in your life. But also with me, it's grounding energy. The stag is so strong, so silent, right? It, it, it goes through the woods and the forest, watching and listening carefully. Very healthy and strong, solid body like Capricorn, right? Even though it's not a goat, but it is this beautiful, beautiful deer, this stag. And let's see, the energies are very earthly, very soft and gentle. So let's see what the card's meaning is here. And our Ace of Earth. Okay. With the Ace of Earth, the prosperity is in its purest form. Concrete results in the physical world, abundance made manifest. So much like you, Capricorn. Here is your affirmation for January 2019 for your growth edge. I recognize the many forms of abundance and plenty, and I align myself with success. I can generate gold from the resources I have at my fingertips. I make an impact. The essence of prosperity is taking form in the material world. And so it is for you, Capricorn. Okay, so just look at this as a blessing for you for the month of January, a growth edge. Hopefully it activates all positive things for you. Thanks again for watching. I wish you a happy new year, a great January. And as always, I do wish you the best.